A five-time World Surf Champion and Olympic gold medalist, Carissa Moore, says she's stepping away from competitive surfing to focus on starting a family. Our Jelani Martinez has more from the pro surfer and her fans. Carissa Moore is the first woman to ever win gold in Olympic surfing. Like the legendary Duke Kahanamoku, she's made a lasting impact in and out of the water, carving the way for women surfing. A swell has been building on the horizon for a while now, and I feel compelled to follow it and to follow you. To step away from the tour and to see who we are outside of the jersey. This is a video montage Carissa Moore posted on Instagram, reflecting on the lessons she's learned through surfing and letting fans know this isn't the end, but the start of a new beginning. She later followed with a statement saying in part, the reality is the winds are fleeting and the feelings with it only temporary. The Punahou grad says she's not going to keep doing it for the empty win. There has to be more to it. Moore addressed speculation that she's leaving the tour because she lost the last two world titles on finals day. She says she's frustrated that she wasn't able to rise to the occasion, but proud of how she's shown up every year. Moore says her heart is saying it's time to pivot and spend more time with her husband and family. But I am excited to paddle over the ledge, to let go of the rails and enjoy the ride. Moore's decision is somewhat of a surprise to professional big wave surfer Kiala Kennelly. Well, the industry's losing one of the best female surfers of all time. She says if the World Surfing League didn't change to a winner-take-all finals day format, Moore would have had two more titles. That must have been so disappointing for Carissa to win the most events. I think she won the Pipe Masters, you know, and then she's leading the rankings, and it, then it all comes down to just one event at, um, at Trestles, you know, seemed pretty unfair to her and that must have been so disappointing two years in a row. The WSL said in part, Moore is a champion and a role model in and out of the water. Her absence in the competitive scene will be deeply felt. Beyond the accolades and Jersey, Moore is actively involved with her nonprofit, Moore Aloha Foundation. Last month, she hosted a group of kids from Japan at Kiwalo Basin, treating them to a surf lesson, hula lesson, and book reading. It's still a very small uh, nonprofit, and you know, we're, we're, I just, I'm really passionate about it. I feel like I can do a lot of good. Moore may be taking a break from the competitive scene, but her legacy as an icon in women's surfing isn't going anywhere. She's so humble, you know. She's. She's so friendly to everybody. I've surfed her for 30 years, and every time I see her, see her in the water, she's always smiling, talking to everybody, giving everybody waves. She's such a role model and so fun to watch on the tour, but at the same time, I'm happy for her and um, what she's gonna do on her next chapter in her life. That next chapter will include another shot to add a gold medal at the Paris 2024 Summer Olympics. Jolani Martinez, Hawaii News Now.